Let's have a look. There she is. The Unreal. Wow. That's creepy as hell. And then you can turn her when she comes out. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Let's see. Um. Alright, let's first look at our power. Uh, Anna, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. A uh, robotical for the one you ring you know when. Uh, just a zero over the 20 at 7 we said that. Uh, Squadris. Um, play for the conversion of the Prime at Yemen subs of the tier 1. Through the medium of the mysterious videotape, uh, sad of course, uh, spreads a curse to unwitting viewers and causes their untimely deaths. Before manifesting, uh, the Onryo uh, gains the undetectable status effect and is invisible to survivors, but becomes intermittently visible when within 32 meters of them. Okay, so it's almost... It's giving me a kind of feel of uh, old Freddy. Did she just teleport really close to you? Um, where they couldn't see him unless they were in a dream world. So it's a bit different, but it's kind of the the idea of you don't see him until something. Uh, special ability, manifestation. Uh, wait, actually. And she's only intermittently visible. So I said that. I guess she'd be like the passive phasing. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what they mean. Uh, manifestation. Uh, the on on Ryu, uh, must physically manifest to attack survivors. Press an old power button to manifest into material form in your current position for a brief duration and after um, manifesting. The Oreo will continue to be uh, intermittently visible to the survivors within 32 meters. Afterwards, she will be fully visible within 32 meters as long as she rem uh, remains manifested. Uh, the or um, the Onryo uh, can de-manifest by pressing and holding the power button. So you only can attack by manifesting where they can see you easier. Um, but it's always within 32 meters. Outside of 32 meters, you never see her, it seems. Even when she's manifested. Uh, and it's not intermittent. Um, yeah, she'll be fully visible. Okay. So she can. She only can attack when she's full, fully visible. Yeah. Oh, afraid about. It. Yeah, it, it is a bit. Um, projection. The Onryo can take material from uh, material form by projecting herself through a TV. Press the ability button while looking at a power TV to project into it, shutting the TV off and. Uh, off in the process, all survivors within 60 meters of the TV gain uh, condemned progress. A fully condemned survivor is revealed by killer instinct and can be killed once downed. Interesting. So she just gets to kill people. <laughs> what? Uh, so I was going to temporarily turn the TVs off uh, with the uh, rev uh, retrieve tape action. Uh, this adds condemned progress to the survivor while holding the tape. The survivor can continue turning off of the TVs, further gaining condemned for doing so. Is this a timed thing? Fully condemned. Okay. So they get condemned progress... When they're fully condemned, then she can do that. But they can slow down the condemned progress. Right? No, that adds it as well. So do they, can they not get rid of it? Will they just always accumulate? I guess we'll see. Uh, one specific TV will have its aura highlighted to the survivor. This TV allows the survivor to spread the... On your message by inserting their tape. Doing so removes some condemned. Oh, that's okay. That's it. So, it's always kind of like um, you ideally don't want to get condemned. So, you're trying not to do that. Okay, so they've tried to give it a secondary op uh, objective, which obviously people are asking for. Interesting. 
Okay, so Scourge Hulk, Floods of Rage. You form a psychic connection with the entity, and after the rules... Uh, wait. Uh, and alter the rules of the trial. At the start of the trial, up to four random hooks or uh, change the Scourge Hulk, so you can see the aura as white. When a survivor is unhooked from the Scourge Hook, all other survivors have the aura reveals. Uh, revealed, sorry. Aura reveal. It's not too bad. I don't think people will use it. Maybe. Um, your psychic abilities influence technology in devastating ways. After damaging a generator, this perk becomes active for 60 seconds. Okay. The generator regresses at 150% of the normal regression speed. And it's always revealed to you. Each time a survivor completes a good skill check on the generator, affected by this perk, you reveal a loud noise notification. The generator regresses at 150% of the normal regression speed. Can someone uh, explain to me what that would be? Like, it's 400% slower than one solo survivor usually. What would 150% of that 400% be? Rune is 200%. So it's one and a half times slower than a solo? Yeah, we need to look at what this is uh, when it's maxed. We'll just see what they are, like, as they are, and then we'll go on to the private lobby. Uh, your horrible trauma is felt by everyone. When a generator reaches 90% progress, survivors working on the generator will be faced with continuous skill checks. If they miss or stop repairing, the generator is blocked for 16 seconds. Hmm. Skill checks aren't hard, though. Are oh, they trying to mix that with uh, Huntress the Lullaby? But it's a hex. Uh, Most of Storm can only trigger once per generator per trial. Eh, I don't know how I feel about that one. I guess if you knock them off, they'll automatically miss the skill check. Because, you know, it gives you a skill check as you move away. Alright, uh, interesting. Um... I don't know how I feel about them yet. We'll, we'll, we'll have a look more into them when we go to the private lobby. Let's see the uh, survivor. Read the last bit. I did. Well, what last bit? Merciless Storm uh, can only trigger once per generator per trial. That's what I said. Yeah, 90% progress. That's like. Four seconds or something if there's two people on a survivor uh, on a gen. <laughs> we'll have a look at a uh, thing. Oh, wait, I didn't look at this. Nice, she's a uh, 115%. Uh, biggest terror radius since she's short. Short sometimes can be good. Uh, Johnny, thank you for the prime. Appreciate it, man. Uh, Death Knight, thank you for the three months as well. New killer revealed. Uh, and all have to wait three weeks. Let's go. Uh, Lyron, thank you for the 42 months as well. Hey, true. Hope you're doing well. I uh, would like to ask, uh, what was your job before streaming? I was a freelance graphic designer. Um, yeah. New guy. Mm, that's kind of cool. Uh, Volta, thank you for the 16 months. Thanks for the great content as always. Also, that last killer perk with Doctor might have potential with the skill checks. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, so, parental guidance. Uh, you have uh, inherited the ability to hear the dead, and now the dead warn you of danger. After stunning the killer by any means, your scratch marks and pool of blood and grunts of pain are hidden for 8 seconds. So, no blood, no scratch marks, and no sound. That's really good. You do need to stun the killer, though. And it'll be longer than eight seconds, right? We'll have to see out how many uh, seconds it is. Uh, your presence... Um... Psychia... Psychiale? 
Sa Sa Sakiale? <laughs> What's that say? Uh, projects itself uh, to those in danger. Um... I'm a bit dyslexic, if you didn't know. Shit like that is a dyslexic uh, nightmare. Because I see psychic, but then it says Ali. Fiscally, is it? Fiscally? Is that how you say it? I spell fiscally? I don't know. Um, Press yourself um, into those in danger. Whether another survivor is injured, they can see your aura within... A range of 32 meters. You heal other survivors 10% faster. Okay. So when another survivor is injured, they can see your aura. Okay. It's kind of like a healing thing. Uh, your obsessive study of the paranormal has given you unprecedented knowledge of other realms and planes of existence. Press and hold the ability button to, uh, near a dull or hex totem to bless it and create a boon totem. Soft chimes ring out. Okay, so that's just a boon. Any survivor within the Boon Totem's range gains a 2% haste status effect. And it might be further. This uh, effect lingers longer, uh, lingers for two seconds after leaving the Boon. You can only bless one Totem. That could be quite problematic. Let's see um, what these actual numbers are. Alright, firstly, let's uh, do it so people from Friends List join. However you do this. How do you do this? Yeah, friends only. So, people who are on my friends list, you can join now. We do need just four. Uh, just while I'm looking at uh, the perks. Okay, so this is max. So, so, you see the rovers for seven seconds. You get 200%, so it's like ruin. Right, so, wait. What? Tier 1 is 150%. Oh, it's 200% off 400, isn't it? Right? Tenor regresses at 200% of the normal regression speed. Yeah, it is. Okay. Eh. Yeah, so it's like ruin, as you said. Okay, I get it. So it's, it's two times slower uh, than a solo, instead of four times. And it's, it looks like it's got a, um, a cooldown of 60 seconds. I don't know. Uh, yeah, 90% don't change. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Alright, we've got everyone cool. Uh, let's see. 